marketing stuff, this is a really, really good book to pick up. But I want to have a physical copy of it, so I printed it up. And uh, you can see real quick here, I printed it up in um, four page signatures. So it's one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper printed um, front and back so that when you fold it in half, the pages read in order. And I just have a whole stack of that. Underneath there is a piece of cardstock that's going to be just a blank cover. I didn't uh, print anything up on it. And this is my little handy book binding jig that I made up out of some scrap lumber on my uh, summer vacation. So that's what we're going to use to hold all the pages together. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we'll do here is line up one of the folded pages so that we can find the edge of our spine. And we'll just mark that real quick. And then I'll line up my straight edge on it. edge of my exacto knife to run a score down that. And then give it a fold. And it's ready to go. The next step in the process here is to take our pages and the cover that we just scored here. And we're going to put the uh, the front pages down, face down on the cover. And then we're going to put that all into the book binding jig. Now, the book binding jig is set up basically so I can snug everything up against these two corners here, and that'll hold everything square. And then once I get it all in position, let's see, I just get everything lined up, and clamp it down. And I'll just give a few extra turns to kind of snug everything up. Doesn't have to be super tight. Just uh, need to get the pages pressed down a little bit. And you can see now I've got uh, my folded edge lined up and my uh, my spine edge all set and ready for the for the uh, glue to be applied there and uh, to fold the cover over once the glue is applied and glue the cover onto the spine. For this particular project, I want the uh, gluing to go pretty fast, so I'm actually using a two-part epoxy. It's a five-minute epoxy, so it'll dry pretty quickly. Um, but if I have a little bit more time on my hands, um, a lot of times I'll use a, uh, a flexible contact cement. The flexible is the most important um, element of the contact cement, so uh, power epoxy is a good one. Um, you just need a little bit more drying time uh, before you can take it out of the jig. So I'll mix up my uh, my epoxy and it'll be time to put it on the spine. As I apply the glue, um, it's important to realize you don't need a ton of glue in there. You don't really want to have um, the binding saturated with glue, especially if I'm not if I'm using an epoxy like this. But you do want to make sure and get it worked in really well. So I'll um, apply a decent amount and then just kind of work it into the edges of the paper there to so make sure and get a good solid coating, which you got to kind of work fast, especially if you're using a, a quick set glue like um, like a pure glue or um, or an epoxy like this. They're very very nice that they work quickly, but their uh, their quick set times make it a little urgent that you get the glue applied fast. I've got a nice thin coating of glue all the way uh, all the way across the spine here. Very nice thin coating of glue. And before this dries, 
I want to just fold the cover back over and press it down into the glue. I want to give it a nice firm press into the glue. Make good contact all the way across there. And that's only going to take five minutes for this to set, so what I'm going to do is just turn it over and rest it on the spine. And then just kind of hold on to it for the next couple of minutes until it dries up. Now this has had a chance to set up a little bit. Um, still a little soft, so I won't put a whole lot of strain on it, but it's ready to take out of the, uh, of the jig here. So I'll just give a few spins to loosen everything up, lift it up, and slide my new book out. Um, now I just need to fold up the back cover here, so we've got the, uh, the block in there. It's nicely bound in the back. And then what I'll do is just score the, uh, the back edge here so I get a good clean. Just use the edge of my X-Acto knife here, and uh, that'll help me get a good clean edge in the back. Fold that over. Super concerned about getting everything absolutely pristine. You can kind of make it up as you go along here. Use the edge of my X-Acto knife to fold, finish that fold. Um, you can also use a bone folder, which is uh, probably a good tool to invest in if you're going to do this a lot. That'll keep from leaving any little edge marks because sometimes the uh, the metal here can leave a little bit of a a little bit of a discoloration on your paper, especially depending on whether your paper is coated or not. But there you can see, I've got a good clean spine here on my book. And I just have a little bit of trim here on the back side. So I'll get out my trusty metal uh, straight edge and just line it up with the book block. And the reason I use the metal straight edge instead of just trying to cut it freehand is whenever I try to cut these things freehand I always end up tearing up the edge of the book block with uh, with the X-Acto blade I can never quite get it straight and then I just line up along the straight edge Make sure I got it good and clean. Pull away the scrap. And I now have a beautiful hand bound glue bound book made from uh, my ebook. I'm not going to stress the pages right now, although in a few hours this will be absolutely strong and I'll be able to open it as wide as I need to and uh, the pages will stay together pretty darn well, but I'm not going to stress it just yet till the glue really sets up tight. But, there's my new book.